The drive line, right? From the beginning, I've talked about how important or how I really wanted the alignment to be just perfect. I showed you my alignment jig, and then we got into how we're gonna make the drive shaft. If you haven't seen those videos, basically all I'm doing is trying to get the engine and the pump to be perfectly in line. And I'll know that by how easy my drive shaft slides between the two components. So what I've did is I took a ProForce drive shaft and a SeaDo drive shaft, because that's a SeaDo engine. And my machinist machined them so they kind of slip in and out of each other. I can take two drive shafts and make one. So I'm gonna show you right now kind of a little bit of my final sort of dry shaft checking before I put it on my lathe and weld it. You see a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm not really, you know, it's hard to explain every step, but really the secret of the matter is just making sure that when everything is tightened down, that the dry shaft moves in and out of the impeller splines to the engine with the bearing support, because that thing can be glued sideways one way or another, fiberglass twists, it changes, how it gets glued together. So many variables involved, you can only imagine of just perfectly trying to align the engine to the pump and everything inside of it have perfect tolerances. We achieved it. This is what we do. Our skis, when you buy a, a Proforce, perfectly aligned. It's so satisfying. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna take the shaft, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna set it in my lathe, and I'm gonna weld it. Check this out.
Well, that's it. Shaft runs pretty true. I'm good with that. That's how we make our drive shafts. See you next time.